Hi lovely, welcome back to my channel to dot my stitches. Um today I want to say a big thank to all my subscribers. And if you're not yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Today we are going to learn how to make this um, lovely caftan. It's an elegant caftan, so you can wear it to any party. So with this material I'm going to use and this also the trimming that I'm going to use in the front. As you can see, see it on that tongue. So what I'm going to do here, we are cutting the gown together with the sleeve. So first thing to do, I take the measurements. The measurement is 16 lengths. So for my fabric, I measure 16 lengths. This is Kampala fabric that I'm using. So I'll be taking the 60 length into two pages like this. So that I folded it into two, the 60 into two. So now I'll be taking the shoulder measurements. From the shoulder here, you know, as I said earlier, that I cut everything together with sleeve. So I will take 22 and a half here. So that's the measurement I'm using. Then from here, I'll come down from the shoulder to the sleeve. Because this person is fat a little bit, so I make it to be 12 and a half. So from here, I'll be taking the bust measurement. The bust measurement divided by 4. The bust is 44 divided by 4, that is 10 and a half. Then I'll add like 2 and a half for the seam allowance. From here, I will shape it. Now I come down to the waist. The waist is 42. 42 divided by 4, that is 10 and a half, plus another 2 and a half with it, that is 12 and a half. So I shape it like that. Now, from the shoulder to the hip line, I make it to be 24. So 24, the hip is 45 divided by 4, that is 11 and a half. So I add two and a half for the same allowance also. Then from there, I move down because it's a shape line. Then I'll be placing the depending on how you want it to be. Actually, my own, I want it to be wide a little bit. So depending on your choice. So, so I come down like that. But well, from the bottom here, I make it to be 15 and a half. Then plus one and one inch, that is 16 and a half. Now I'll be cutting it out. So now that I've cut everything out i cut out the shape from the sleeve here downward now what i'm going to do i'm going to just split an half inch to this side to open this piece because i'm going to cut some that side too So now that I've cut out the this place, I'm going to take the neck measurements. I want the neck to be like six and a half width. So I know that side. So this for the neck. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut a little fabric like four inch. by I'll start measuring from here from the cutting center here 4 by 16 so for the the one that I'm used to 
when I used to fold it in, I make it to be 18, instead of that 16, I make it to be 18, 18 by 4. I cut this one out. What I'm going to use with this with this piece is that I use this one to hold hold it like this. So, from the national center here, I use it to hold it. I will stitch it like this, downward. But before that, before that, I will fold it like this, with like half inch. After sewing this side, before I will now place it here, I will use it to close this area. So this one we hold this side, and the other side here we hold the other side. I will join that one. I will come and show it to you. Now from the nursing area, from the neck. So I've joined this piece to this side. So I will use the, I will use this piece. I will join this one to the other side also. So I will just place it like this. For the back side. So I will use it to all this side also. Stick it like this. And the second side, I will use it to hold the second side. So after that, I will now notch the center. Center of the neck. So I will notch it. I will not it to the I folded, I folded this into two like this. I will not that side also. Because I'm going to place the trimming from the center front here down to the center, center down here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So now that I've used this to join the both sides, so I've joined the both sides, the back and the front. So what I'm going to use, I'll be using this to, some people call it abortion beds. So I will just make sure, after I've not the center neck here to the down, I'll make sure it. So I'll use it to cut the, exactly what I need from that abortion bed. I'll make sure it's, so I think this one is like 58 or so. So I now cut cut it out. So this is the measurement exactly. So what I'm going to do right here, I will just place it. I look for that notching side from the center neck. I place it here. I will now stitch it downward. So it will be in the center front there. And I also do the same thing for the back. I will place it. So I cut out two, two layers like that. Then for the chest line, I mark, I measure the, exactly the measurement here. I measure it out. So I need to cut out the abortion bed also. So what I'm going to do right here, I will just, after cutting it out, I will just place it on the that stitching side here, the line. I will just place, place it there like this. So 
and we just stitch it downwards like this. I will hold this side and I will hold the second layer as it also. I will hold both sides. So the same thing I will apply to the back side. Actually, you can place it anyhow. You can place it back or in the front. It doesn't have front and back. So just place it anyhow because the measurement is the same thing. You cut out exactly the same thing. So I just place it here. I will stitch it. But mind you, when you're working with this abortion bed, you look at the there's one hole here, or else you'll be breaking your needle. So you just target that that, that hole. So you will play. Use the machine to target that side. So then after that, I will now this one for the hand here, for the sleeve here. I will place it on the sleeve side here. I will stitch everything now. So now come back and show you. So now that I place the abortion bed for the upper side here and also for the sleeve. So we the sleeve together with the body. And it's also in the middle side here and the downward here. So both front and the back. As you can see, so this is the back side, also in the center back and the center front. So now I now stitch the I will stitch my body like this, the body of the clothes, I will stitch it for the both sides. I will be taking the measurements and I will stitch it down. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. So bye for now. Bye.